welcome to Mythical Kitchen, where dreams become food. There are many problems in America. You got income disparity, you got lack of access to healthcare, you got double-rimmed basketball hoops at public courts. Those suck, and you got lack of nugget choice. Every single nugget that you get out there is made of chicken, and nobody has asked the question, is this really the best meat to make a nugget from? Nobody until today, because we will be trying out 10 different animal fleshes that have been ground up into their component parts and nuggetified to see what is really the best one. We are doing groundbreaking science here. I can't fix the other problems. I can maybe go pry a rim off of a basketball hoop or two, but we are solving the problem of nugget hegemony in this country today. One crispy fried bit of, I don't know, like ostrich tenderloin at a time. We've broken the recipe down. I don't know if we have. We're making nuggets. You can see the nuggets there. We're just kind of frying up a bunch of animal parts. And then we got a full written description of, I don't know, just how my day's going underneath. You can go click down and read my diary. Let's get cooking. Are you rushing or are you dragging? I, I don't know. Are you rushing or are you dragging? I don't, I don't know. Are you rusting or are you dragging? Dragging! So you do know! That was Back That Ass Up by Juvenile as played on the Meat Drums by me. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, stop. You, you flooded this room with energy today. As you can see, we have 10 dead animals that have been ground up and put in a bowl, and now we're gonna turn them into nuggets. What do we got? We're starting off with chicken. Uh, we're making a classic chicken nugget and then lamb. Who, who would have thought lamb nuggets? The Greeks, maybe they do love lamb. And then we got gator. I have, I have a suspicion that gator could actually be a really great nugget. We're doing buffalo nuggets, we're doing ostrich nuggets, and ostrich once made a sexually threatening gesture at me. If you remember that episode, y'all remember that? That was wild, that ostrich thought I was moving in on his chicks, man. I wasn't, I swear. Or was I? And then we got salmon. <laughs> I didn't try and bang an ostrich, to be clear. I, it, would have, it was like a platonic. And then we got beef. We're gonna make a beef nugget. I ain't never seen no beef nuggets before. We got pork, we're gonna make pork nuggets. We got, what's this? Oh, elk. Dude, we got elk meat? I forgot about that, that's exciting. And then turkey nuggets. Uh, and now we just gotta start nuggetifying them. So we've weighed out exactly eight ounces of each of our nuggets here. And then we have our nugget spice blend, which is salt, MSG, white pepper, onion powder, garlic, that's it. And then we're gonna add this to all that because we wanna make like a universal nugget experience for all of these. Let me just kind of start doing some of that to get it in there, almost. Because we're trying to be like as scientific as possible about this. <laughs> I don't know, man. Dumpy, dumpy, and dumpy. And we're gonna weigh each nugget out, try and shape it perfectly, because I want to do this as a blind taste test. I don't want to know what animal I'm eating. I want to go into this completely without any preconceived notions of what sort of nugget I'm eating. There's a lot of soy-based nuggets out there. They're making nuggets out of plants. They're taking animals' jobs away from them. You know what I mean? That's the thing that really works me up about this. Those animals deserve jobs to be nuggets. Uh, vegans, please, it's a joke. Don't, 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 don't start coming at me in the comments. Uh, 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 I watch a lot of women's tennis. Uh, uh, uh. Guess which women's tennis player I'm imitating and what year. Ah! Uh. Actually, yeah, no, it actually was. I was thinking Sharapova 06. That was good. That was good. She had a really distinctive yell. <laughs> Nuggets are mashed. Spices are dispensed evenly. You don't know what that little guy's doing there. And now we start weighing out each nugget. Oh, God, why didn't we think this through better? Give me a couple minutes. I need to, Daddy needs to rest. Put Papa in his chair. Where's Papa's chair? Let me see your face. Are you still in school? Oh, you're 37 now? Okay. All right, I'm gonna start making some nuggets. We're gonna go exactly 0.9 ounces on each of these. Start with our chicken. And I gotta touch the scale with raw meat. Guys, sanitize the scale. Hold on, no, 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 now we're gonna organize it. We got the chicken there. We're doing gator. We got, it's, we just need to create a mnemonic device, like PEMDAS. Chicken, gator, buffalo, elk, sba, sba, sba. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. I ate some raw meat. Let's, let's stop back in a second. Good news, we got our simple impossible to forget mnemonic device to remember what meats we got. That's right, Gobbles PCT, right? Who hasn't heard of Gobbles PCT? That's right, you got gator, ostrich, beef, bison, lamb, elk, salmon, pork, cow, and, and terries. Gator, ostrich, beef, bison, wait, okay. Gator, ostrich, beef, bison, lamb, elk, salmon, pork, chicken, turkey, gobbles, PCT. This isn't in that order though. 
This is like, this is sig, this is sig, this is sig, but so far, who cares, man? I'm just making them. We got our Gobbles PCT nuggets. That's right, Gobbles PCT. German orangutans, buck big, mm, letters every Sunday. I actually forgot what the meats are. We're gonna start with a salmon nugget. Let's, I'm really interested in this one because I think uh, McDonald's had the fish McBites that everyone loved. You guys remember the commercial? Fish, fish, McBites, McBites. It was that, but for 30 seconds. And everybody loved them except for nobody um, who ever bought them. But I'm excited for these. So let's start dropping them. We're just gonna drop them and fry them. We're doing a very standard coating here. Again, we got equal amounts of spice and meat in all of these. They've been sitting to sort of let that meat cure a little bit and taste all nice and processed and nuggety. Now they're just going simple, breadcrumb, flour, egg wash, and we're gonna season with salt right out of the fryer. And then we're gonna taste them blindfolded because I actually don't know what the results are gonna be. I have some guesses. Like I think gator nuggets, man, they're gonna bring like the best of the fish world with the best of the mammal world because that's how gators were actually invented. It was just like a, like a copy bar, just like had sex with a sturgeon and out came a gator. Uh, I, I failed, I failed biology. Bombs away, now we just gotta repeat that process and keep everything labeled about 10 times and nothing about me has ever shown that I lack the organizational capacity to keep things organized. <laughs> Bonus content, we're making sauces. You thought you were just here to see nuggets? Nope, you're so dumb. We also are making a sauce. Right now, hey, you know who else loves sauces and nuggets? The people at Spork. Go check out Spork to see their chicken nugget rankings. If you don't wanna make nuggets from 10 different animals, you can just go buy chicken nuggets. If you're satisfied with the status quo, you can do that, find out what the best ones are at Spork. So, we're making a couple sauces. These are sauces that I would typically make at home to dip nuggets. In fact, I know this is something I would just make on the fly because I didn't plan on doing any of this and I just grabbed a bunch of crap out of the fridge. Now we're gonna make it. We're making a garlic scallion fish sauce ranch. That's gonna be a fun time. And take a little bit of garlic, take like a clove, maybe a half clove. What happened to that chainmail glove we used to have? I think I slapped someone with it at the Albertsons and I'm challenging them to an honor duel. And then we're gonna drop a little bit of scallion in here. Making your own ranch is fun at home because it doesn't really matter what you put in it. You can just kind of like dump random like herbs and chopped alliums in there. And we got some mayonnaise. There we go. That's nice. <laughs> this is how you get it out. And yes, there are two different mayonnaises in this mayonnaise jar because we had like half of one and we squeezed the tube into there. Uh, use whatever mayonnaise you got. I'm adding some Greek yogurt in there. Typically you might use sour cream or buttermilk for that, but hey, I had this in the fridge. And again, this is, we're going home style. Now, oh, a lot of black pepper. Ranch loves black pepper, a lot of it. And then fish sauce. Fish, get yourself a bottle of Vietnamese fish sauce for crying out loud. If you don't have one in your pantry already, uh, it's just a really great way to like wake foods up, you know, you get that beautiful little umami punch. And then it's a little bit of cider vinegar for acid. That, I've never heard a cider vinegar bottle just like burp itself after opening. It's been heating in the Burbank sun for a while. And now give it a stir, see where we're at. Yeah, just slop it around. There we go. All right, now we're making uh, lemon pepper honey mustard. Yeah, a whole lot of honey in there. A whole lot of spicy brown mustard. It's pretty freaking yellow for a brown mustard, if you ask me, but the hell am I to judge? Uh, yeah, more black pepper. That seems right. Seems right. Lemon, we're gonna zest some of that in there. Who is he, Rachel Ray? <laughs> I wish, she's made a fortune. I mean, she has made so much money selling dog food that it's incredible. We make food that's appropriate for dogs to eat. Why can't we start a dog food company? Gonna add some lemon zest. Yeah, just a little bit. Mayonnaise. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, man. Did that enrich your life? Leave a comment below if it did. If it didn't, just don't, don't say anything. Just don't, just keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself if you didn't like that. All right, ratios are all messed up. All right, they're done. <laughs> All right, we got all our nuggets in front of us ready to taste test, but first we got a very special guest to come out and taste them along with me, the newest mythical kitchen here, Lily Cousins! <laughs> Woo, Lily! Now Lily, you're coming to us from a restaurant, correct? Now Lily, <laughs> hi. In seven words or less, can you tell the mythical beast a little bit about yourself? Um, so I grew up in Maine, uh... 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 uh I grew up in Maine, uh... <laughs> and that's was, it. <laughs> uh, no, Lily, we are very excited to have you. Uh, this is your first time on camera to the Mythical Beast. Can you tell them like a little uh, snapshot of the interview process? What was the weirdest thing you were asked? 
Um, probably who my mortal enemy was and what they no. would say about me. <laughs> <laughs> and I did not know how to answer that. And yet still you got the job. We're gonna be ranking each nugget on a scale of one to 10 with decimals. It's not the same as a one, <laughs> one to 100 scale, it's one to 10 with decimals. Uh, and then we're gonna calculate what our favorite nugget is and see if we can upend the chicken nugget hegemony in this industry. First nugget, yeah. Josh, you ready? ready? Uh-huh. Okay. 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 Mm -mm. Tastes like sausage. <laughs> it's a little sticky. I'm enjoying what's happening in my mouth and that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. If I had to guess, I'd say that's pork and I, and I give it, I give it a 7.8. I think a 6.7 for me. I feel like it could be beef. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's disorienting with a blindfold on. It is, it is really disorienting. <laughs> no one strike me. You want <laughs> Number two. <laughs> Do you want, uh, let sauce? me know when you want your dip, okay? Honey okay. mustard. I'm, I'm gonna go plain, so. Honey okay. mustard is what we kids Wait, no, flip it around, give me the plain in. bite. <laughs> oh God. Uh. Less beefy. Mm -hmm. Do you want the honey mustard bite? Give me the honey mustard. Let me know if you want it. You just sucked it off. You're a menace. I hate you. I like that the meat is very mild on it, lended well to nuggets. I'm giving it a 7.8. I'm giving it a five. Turkey, 7.8. Uh, beef five. I keep saying beef. Beef five. You're trying to awaken a Russian sleeper agent. Beef five. I'm just gonna guess beef for all of them. Nugget three. Plain bite? Plain bite. Plain bite. I don't like this one. No. <laughs> Do you want another bite? Nope, I don't. No. Nope. Okay. You almost got my fingy. I have no idea what's going on in my mouth. I need like a palate cleanser. I need to drink your sauces. Okay, I believe this to be salmon, and I'm saying 5.1. I think it's elk four. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the opposite animals. <laughs> one of us is stupid. It's probably me. Plain bite? Yeah. Okay, I'm putting it right here. Is that right? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. That's the salmon. <laughs> they all taste the same to me. Honey mustard. <laughs> no, that's the salmon. That's the salmon. That is very much the salmon. I yeah, need water. That's the salmon. I give it a, water. It's a little fishy. I gave it a 3.1. <laughs> salmon too. I'm not too happy about that one. You ready for the next one? Yeah. All right. Can I hold it? You want some water? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. There's like a Jimmy Dean. Oh my god, you, you gotta get a bigger bite. Wait, you just took skin. <laughs> oh, why is it so chewy? Do, no. you, do I need a spit bucket? I I'm need saying, a spit bucket. I'm saying Gator 2.6. Okay, give me two <laughs> seconds. Give me two seconds. Where's Lily? Lily, are you okay? Oh, uh, where are you? Are you okay? Bucket. Where are you? Spit bucket. <laughs> oh, why do we get a clear bowl? <laughs> uh, I ate oh, so no. many nuggets. <laughs> wait, get that out of here. Wait, Lily, what happened? <laughs> Gator 2.5. Gator 2.1. Plain bite coming in. Okay. Ah. No, honey mustard. <laughs> Let me know if you need a spitball. <laughs> That's elk. Spongy, buffalo, ah, 4.2. Elk 3.3. Coming in. This is the next go. one, y'all. Uh, uh, That's elk. You gotta That's bite elk. it. That's you elk. Gotta bite it. Ah. Ah, ah, some fell out of my mouth. Ah, elk, three oh point. No, elk, 1.7. You, you don't even want a sauce with that one? I can one? do it. Yeah, no, sauce. It. just still give me some you barbecue sauce, though. Buffalo, 4.1. Wait, did you eat a new one? No, no did no. you? We have three no, more. No, three more. Ready? Yeah. All right, clean bite coming in. You got it, you got it, you got it. Okay, this is it. Oh, it's tough. I don't like this one. I think, I believe this to be beef. <laughs> I'm saying 6.1. I'm gonna say turkey, 9.7. Ah. You ready? Yeah. Come in. It's, it's, it's in front there of you. you. Go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like this one, it tastes like a sausage. <laughs> you wanna know? You're happy. Give me some honey mustard. You look like you're gonna kiss me! <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good one. There's some honey mustard. It's coming in. Mm. You're just eating sauce at this point. I'm just vibing. I'm just I'm doing me right now. I'm not vibing. I'm the, I'm saying that vibes. I'm saying that's pork, and I'm saying that's an eight point seven. I think it's pork too. I'm gonna give it a nine. How many more we got? Right, last, last one. one. Last, last, one. last one, Josh. <laughs> Ten more meats to do this again. <laughs> no. All right. So last spitting on me. This is the last Next one. Next time yeah. it's gonna be wings. So much meats. Mmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta. Josh already okay. bit his. Wait, okay. Get, oh, you bit uh, it? Yeah. The last one. Oh. Oh. No. I don't like it, but no, give it. Oh, I don't like it. Go. I think that. There's a goo. 
Don't uh, blow in my mouth. Don't yeah, blow it's on the plate. I'm sorry. Uh, I think it might just be chicken, though. I think it is chicken, too. I think it, oh, it's got the least offensive palate on it. <laughs> chicken, 6.1. Chicken, 10. <laughs> <laughs> Are we done? Yeah. yeah, that's it. That was so disorienting. Is that chicken? That was really disorienting. Oh, gator. That, that was, was the last gator? one's gator. Dude, I was going to guess gator, and then you threw me off. Oh, my God. Do we have uh. the results tallied up? Yeah. First of all, Lily, how do you feel emotionally after that? I don't know. I feel like a little traumatized. <laughs> Can I go? <laughs> a little traumatized. Uh, you're going you're gonna to use that phrase a lot here. <laughs> okay, so the one that you liked the least, with a total of 4.6, which you both thought was the gator, was elk. <laughs> that was oh. elk! Gators are the elks of the sea. <laughs> I don't think gators live in the sea. I don't think so either. <laughs> they live in swamps. <laughs> and the one you liked the most with a score of 17.7 and you both thought was pork was ostrich. Well, ostrich oh. nuggets! Oh, wait, that's oh huge. God. Hold on. Hey. We have a connection to an ostrich farmer. He's the one whose ostrich made a sexually threatening gesture at me. If you want to invest in a little bit of a project, all you need to do is make a check out for $10,000 to Josh Sharer Industries. We'll have a shell corporation set up by then. We're gonna funnel that through an ostrich farm, change the entire nugget game. Did we guess any of them right? Uh, salmon. salmon right? <laughs> I hated that. <laughs> Everything else you guessed wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, we learned that we're frauds. We know absolutely nothing about cooking, but you nothing. already knew that if you've been subbed to this channel for a while. <laughs> Lily, thank you so much for, uh, this is a hell of an introduction to Mythical Kitchen. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Can't wait for 12 more years of this. That's when your term sign on a 12 year contract. Uh, Trevor B, thank you so much for feeding us. I'm sorry yeah. I almost kissed you. No, it's okay. Um, it happens, you know. Uh, yeah. And thank you so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes for you every week. We got new episodes of our podcast, a hot dog is a sandwich every Wednesday, wherever you get your podcast. Podcast. Hit us up on Instagram and TikTok at Mythical Kitchen with pictures of your mythical dishes under hashtag Dreams of Come Food. We'll see you all next time. I want to try the gator. I don't want to eat a nugget for a while. You're too hot to handle, and so is your bakeware. Get a Mythical Kitchen oven mitt available now at mythical.com.